you know, this being my Black History Month segment right here, and I feel like in terms of Chattanooga, you are Black History. Okay. And uh, so I want to tell your story from beginning to end. And both, and, uh, before we get to you as a businessman, uh, with this being Black History Month, a lot of people my age or younger didn't live through the times when it was hard. You know what I mean? The things that y'all went through, or things that y'all saw that we didn't go through. So uh, give us some stories from back, from back in the days, things that I would, I would probably never experience myself. Okay, the first time I, I noticed racism is that I had an after school job right. up on Main Street uh, of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and there was a, a crystal on the corner. And every evening, uh, every Saturday morning, uh, the owner of the store would tell me to go and get him a cup of coffee. And uh, I would go down to the crystal, and there was always an empty stool in some of the places, but it always was one at the corner of the counter. And I couldn't sit there because that, uh, you couldn't go into these places and just sit and wait on your order. You had to stand up. And that was, that was just about the first time that I noticed racism. And uh, uh, I knew a lot about Main Street. And when I turned the age of 13 or 14, I, I used to go downtown, uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And, uh, I noticed racism there at the movie theaters. We have to go upstairs. We couldn't go downstairs uh, to watch the movie. It was separate. You had to go upstairs and uh, watch the movie. Uh, now, we always seen pictures from back in the day with different bathrooms. One said colored here. Then, uh, did, you, did, you, did you experience that type of stuff? Sure, so? I, I experienced everything that you have heard or witnessed. I have witnessed it yes, uh, during that time. All right. Uh, how often was the, uh, we say it so loosely now, but the nigger word used back then against y'all as opposed to saying it to your homeboy? Because, you know, we, we call each other that now in terms of friends. But now we get offended when we hear a white person say the N word, especially they put the ER on there. Right. But y'all went through that regularly back then, though. Well, it's, it, it, it has become so so common now until that uh, some people say that it just, it's just an everyday occurrence. Uh, do I get angry? With, with those that, that says it, the answer to that question is no. Do I get disheartened that they said it? It all depends on how they said it or, or what was the circumstances on how they said it. Yes. Uh, let's talk about, you know, we see what's going on with the police right now. We've seen a lot of things what police are doing to our people. Can you remember some things of how, how, how y'all were treated back in the days? It, it, it was, was it the it same was, or is, was it worse, or, you know? It was it was it, it's about the same as as, as it is today. Okay. It's that there was good 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 and bad cops. Mm -hmm. I remember that uh, uh, I was skating one Christmas. Uh, it could have been Christmas Day or the day after Christmas, and that it was a, it was a law that you couldn't skate on the street. Well, most streets in in Negroes' neighborhood wasn't paved. Okay, and so I would go up to Howell High School. I didn't live far from it, and just skate from one end to the to the other. But on the way back, I failed to pull off the skates. The next thing I know, there was a police car behind me. And uh, he told me that, you know, boy, you know, you, you know the rules, don't you? I told him yes. And I, he said, he asked me where did I live, and I told him. And he took my skates. I cried, cause, cause now I got to explain to my parents what happened to the skates. But when I got home, the skates was in the door. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so, so there are some good and bad cops, you know. Uh -huh. As uh -huh. of today, this is just my opinion, they need to get rid of the old head cops and put in the new ones, them young ones, who I think understand better. They can relate more to us. They can relate more to us. They can more relate more to us, yes. yeah. They can relate more to us.